Good morning and happy Saturday. We finally made it to the weekend and it's looking like a great one. Starting off this morning, we are going to start off with a few viewer photos because we've had some great photos sent in by some of you over the past couple of days. Lori sent this in of the sunset, I believe, from last night. Absolutely stunning there with the orange hue and the clouds. Great. Barb sent this in as well uh, from Silver Lake. Just a great photo there and then Sue sent this in of the full moon from the other night so thank you for sending those in as always you can send photos in to weather at ktdc.com or join our ktdc weather photo community on Facebook right now outside it is 40 degrees out there feels like 34 winds from the southeast at eight miles per hour those temperatures in wind chills those wind chills in the 30s and 40s so definitely need a light jacket this morning however later today probably can shed that jacket as we're going to see those temperatures warming up future track radar is showing a little bit of rainfall across the region however we are dealing with dry conditions just a few clouds out there but also starting to see some breaks in those clouds as well Again, our high temperatures yesterday, we made it up to 58 degrees for that high here in Rochester, some 60s across parts of northeast Iowa. For today, a high of 62 here in Rochester, gradually sunny, pleasant conditions. That sunrise today was at 6.39 a.m. Winds from the south between 5 and 15 miles per hour today. Those high temperatures in the low to mid 60s, so overall, going to be a pretty pleasant day, mild day as well for our Saturday. For our weather headlines, what to expect tonight, partly cloudy skies. Sunday is looking to be beautiful with those highs in the 60s once again. And next week we are looking at a little bit more summer-like conditions with temperatures making their way into the mid-70s. Heading through today, we're going to see those clouds clearing, those temperatures making their way into the 60s. Just a decent day ahead for our Saturday. Heading into our Sunday, looking to be decent as well with those temperatures into the 60s and mostly sunny skies. We are trying to change for a few sprinkles through the overnight hours heading into our Monday, but overall not looking to see really any impacts from that. Honestly, a little bit of rain never hurt anybody. For our precipitation chances, other than that late stray shower chance Sunday into Monday, we are tracking the chance for some isolated rainfall on Friday, but other than that, looking at a relatively dry week ahead. For tonight, a low of 41 degrees, partly cloudy skies. Those winds picking up a little bit from the south between 15 and 25 miles per hour. Those low temperatures across the region in the 40s, so going to be mild tonight as well. And then heading into our Sunday, 63 degrees, partly cloudy skies. Winds from the south between 15 and 20 miles per hour with gusts up to about 30 miles per hour. So a little bit of a break from those breezy conditions that we saw earlier in the week. Now we're going to see those winds starting to pick up a little bit again heading into the new week. For tomorrow's forecast, those high temperatures in the mid to upper 60s across the region, partly to mostly cloudy skies with that chance for some rain later in the evening and into the nighttime hours. Other than that, though, looking at a great week ahead, lots of sunshine. Temperatures still in the 60s on Monday, but making their way into the 70s starting on Tuesday. Mostly sunny skies Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, looking at sunny skies and those temperatures into the middle 70s and some areas across parts of the region, maybe pushing those upper 70s for high temperatures. We're looking at possible uh, near record or record breaking mm. high temperatures mm. across mm. parts of the region. So definitely, like I said, almost a little bit summer like out here, kind of skipped spring and headed straight to summer. But it tends no, to happen. No complaints from me. It's going to be a great week ahead. A uh, little bit of rain chances, but overall looking to be very pleasant. I spent most of my day yesterday bouncing around to greenhouses <laughs> and Home Depot, checking out all the flowers are starting to roll out. Yeah, like we said on the weather patio, we have a new yep. new flowers out there. Yep. Definitely feeling very spring. -like. Popped over at Sargent's too, saw all their beautiful flowers. So I know a lot of people really want to get in their garden, start turning the soil over. I know the farmers too eventually will want to get into the fields. I know they're a little wet. Yeah. But as you're talking about those warmer temperatures, they're going to start getting that itch yeah. very soon. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much, Sawyer.